Hi, I'm Andy, and on today's episode of Techonify, we're unboxing the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. So let's dive in. Firstly, the box itself is a retail box. It's mainly black, so let's open it up. It's got a little tab at the bottom. Open it up. Inside, as we can see, there's manuals on the top. So if we just take that off, let's look which manuals that we've got in here. So we've got the getting started manual, which is quite thick. We've got the safety precautions manual, which is quite thin. We've got the warranty card. And we've got probably registration card, anyway. And a little sleeve, which we're balanced on. So let's go back to the box and see what's in next. So we have a standard kind of power cable. Well, as I'm in the UK, got a UK power cable. Back into the box. Keep the best bit to last. This looks like the camera there. And then we've got these things in there. Let's get those three things. And that, as you can see, is all this in the box. So let's go back to looking at the bits and bobs. So we've got a kind of lanyard. We've got the battery, which is a MB13L. It's only a 1,250 milliamp hour battery, so I'm going to probably need to get a, a few more of those. Battery charging box, and it's pretty standard. It's kind of put it in, put the power cable in, and there we go. So let's take those out the way. And then next up, the most interesting bit. And there we are. And here we have the Canon G7X Mark II, as you can see on the top. Got the branding telling you what it is. Got the dials. Quite neat. Now one of the one of the cool features about this camera, which is the reason I've got it, is basically the screen can be turned around like so. Uh, I've been trying to do vlogging with uh, Sony FDR X3000, uh, but I found it a real pain not knowing what I've shot and how it looks like, and then having to review it. Uh, so that's one of the reasons I've uh, bought this. So let's have a look underneath. Got the battery slot, so we can put a battery in like so. Got an SD card already, and we can put the SD card in, hopefully it won't be round, like so. Flap goes down, and there's an open and kind of lock feature there. And that is effectively uh, what you get in the box. Looking at the outside of the camera, it's got a, a rubber grip, so it's quite a nice rubber grip there to make it uh, feel quite nice in the hand. There is no viewfinder on this camera, so it's one of the complaints leveled against it. Uh, there's new, no viewfinder, but uh, for me, that'll be absolutely fine because I've got the kind of touchscreen there. Underneath as well, you've obviously got the standard uh, kind of tripod mount. Uh, on the side, if you look here, it's the kind of Canon, kind of standard Canon functionality uh, to select those kind of different modes and to navigate the menus. If you press it, obviously the kind of uh, product lights up, asks you to set the date and time, and obviously it uh, kind of puts the, put the kind of lens out. So we'll just quickly uh, set up the date and time. As we can see, it's got zoom on it. Uh, so it's got five times kind of zoom. And then uh, if you want to go further, that's five times uh, optical, and you can go up to 17 times digital. So now if we activate the screen into the front mode and, we'll focus, there we are, and it's focused on me. So in a kind of selfie style mode you'll be able to see actually uh, kind of what you're doing. Flip that back down. One thing I really do like is on the top of it, it's uh, not very illuminated here, is you can probably see that there's some little red highlights underneath the buttons. They look uh, quite swish. Uh, you can see there's a Wi-Fi button on the side charger and, uh, and you've obviously got uh, an HDMI HDMI out and the HDMI out as well. You've obviously got the flash button on the side. Let's just press the flash button. There you are, so the flash button pops up like that. Pushes down like so. Um, the dials themselves are nice and metallic. There is a kind of EV ring, so you can uh, maybe compensate a little bit. Right, so if we look on there, obviously you've got the dials, you've got the 
various modes. The menus are pretty standard. So the button itself taking the pictures is pressed down on the this button here. So that's a quick unboxing video of a Canon G7X Mark II. So if you have liked this content, please do consider liking and subscribing. And I'll see you on the next video.